Kevin Warren is the highest ranking African American on the business side of an NFL franchise. But when you consider his family background, it's not too hard to understand why. Warren's father and uncle were among the first African American football lettermen at Arizona State. They were regularly told by opposing teams to stay home on road trips because of rampant racism in the South. His father later became the first black president of a bowl game and a vice mayor in Phoenix. His mother, Margaret, was a sharecropper when she was just a teen and eventually earned a Ph.D. His brother, Morrison, was one of the first black scholarship athletes at Stanford. The Warrens, as a family, not only fought institutional racism for decades, but dedicated themselves to achieving positions thought unattainable at that point in time for African Americans. Kevin Warren is considered one of the top executives in the league and played a central role in building the stadium that hosted Super Bowl 52 in the Twin Cities. Let's talk about philanthropy as part of what this show is all about and part of what you excel on. First of all, your family has a history in football, but also your family's had a history of overcoming and, 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 and thriving. Your mom, a sharecropper, your dad and grandpa were involved in football, but talk a little bit about that. Yeah, I mean, my parents, I think because we didn't grow up with much, yeah. uh, my parents were both educators and pushed us hard from an education standpoint. We didn't have a lot of financial resources that I, I literally have seen the people we used to tell people, you know, seeing somebody give their shirt off their back, I really have seen my mom do that. We, we, were, we were the house that, that always people knew that they could come to get a warm meal. And even, uh, it, it's it very emotional even for me at my mom's funeral, a couple years ago, there were people, she had a $25 book scholarship. And there were some of those students that she gave book scholarships literally 50 years ago came to her funeral. And you think $25, you know, you uh, blow that on a lunch. And, 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 and that's what she did. So I just was raised that way. So fortunately, I married a woman, uh, Greta, who feels the same way. And uh, uh, to be able to help kids with backpacks and scholarships, we just did something yesterday with Team Smile, uh, 250 kids uh, where they got a chance to get, dentists came and volunteered their time. There were a couple of kids that said, this is the happiest day of my life because now I don't have to share my toothbrush with my brother anymore. There were some kids there had never had a toothbrush. And so when you start thinking about some of the things that we worry about, you know, did they get the size of our suite right or, or all of a sudden our DVD player or CD or Hulu or whatever the case is not working, you know, some of the things we worry about, which, which, which room we're going to go take a nap in. And then there's some people that have never had a toothbrush. And so that's kind of where my, my heart is. And so I just try to use this platform as an opportunity to bring awareness to it and raise money and, and change lives. You can obviously tell your passion as it relates to all philanthropy. Let's talk about some of the others. Vikings women, talk yeah. about that. I mean, our, 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 our Vikings women have been outstanding. You know, we launched our Vikings Foundation this year, uh, which is a, a, exciting. And then to be able to pull together you know, our women. I mean, three of our nine vice presidents are women. And now to be involved with the, some of the work that our women are doing has been unbelievable. It's exciting to see them really step up. We were at a lunch earlier today, uh, Unsung Heroes, and to see our organization, our women, and, and all the stuff they're doing. We got them in a scouting department, a salary cap. Our, our general counsel is a woman. Our VP of finance is a woman. I mean, our VP of special projects at the stadium. I mean, we have them in key positions. So it's just been a blessing to be able to see them and empower them. And I look forward to the day that we have a woman head coach in the league. and. Uh, woman GM, and, and, and again, I work for the only woman owner in the history of the NFL, Georgia Frontier, general partner, so it's been a blessing to, to be around strong, powerful women. Carolyn's Comforts, yes. what's that? Yeah, my sister Carolyn, who really helped raise me, she went through a, a divorce, so moved back home when I was probably about eight or nine years old, and her room was right across from my room, and so it was very instrumental in my life, and so Greta and I, my wife and I, made a commitment um, to really change the lives of people who are battling cancer. And so this is a pediatric cancer assistance fund where they can call and get money. We've already given out over $100,000, over 300 grants. We're having a dinner uh, tomorrow night at our house. And, uh, and again, so it's been a blessing to, uh, to see these. When you see these young kids uh, send you notes about they're happy now that they can buy a wig that they wear uh, because their hair fell out and a little girl who's seven years old. So we're just trying to, again, change lives. God has truly blessed us. I'm humbled. You know, a lot of times I ask why me, and we just want to give back as much as we can. I'm sure I'm going to miss some, but the program you have for first-generation college yeah. students, oh, yeah. no amazing, talk yeah. about that. Yeah, I mean, again, we want to give people an opportunity. These are first-generation college students who haven't had a chance to go to college. And so they get a four-year, $5,000 a year scholarship, so $20,000 scholarship that they get for the college of their choice, just to give them a chance. Because these are people that are trying to 
to better themselves. And so we got our first group started this year. So we'll, every year we have four now, we'll go to eight, 12, 16, and we'll have 16 people in college at one time. So it's been a blessing. They're doing well in school. They're doing good grades. Some of them are bigger schools. Some of them are at junior colleges. But the fact of the matter is they're in school and not on the streets. Any other huge Viking related slash Kevin Warren related charitable programs I missed? You know, you know I'm going to do something <laughs> this off season, uh, which would be really cool, is that I'm going to take five Jewish kids and five black kids to Washington, D.C. We're going to spend one day at the Holocaust Museum, one day at the African American Museum, and we're going to sit down and talk about these issues. It's only 10 kids, but I think it'll be the start of something special. You don't, gratuitous, you don't have to do this, obviously. You are the highest uh, African American administrative officer yeah. in the NFL. Uh, part of it's that. But part of it's you have a good heart. Well, I just, I, I was raised that way. I mean, you always got, my parents always would tell us, leave the lights on. So that's, that's what I try to do, just leave the lights on. Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Warren is the best. Thank you as always. All right, thank you so thank much. You. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you.